The other day I was doing some research for a client of mine when I got this email. It was the VP of sales asking for some charts, answering a few questions that the executive team wanted for an upcoming meeting. The first question is, what do sales look like month by month for the past three years? And the second one is, what is the relationship between sales and profit by customer segment? And he needed it now because he had a meeting in just an hour where he needed to present this data. Now, I was worried because these can be kind of complex questions, ones that I wasn't sure I could do with just Excel and something I could send him quickly. But then I remembered there's a new Python integration for Excel, so maybe I could use that. And I really like this client, so I wanted to deliver, but I only had an hour, so I really had to get on top of this. The first thing I did was review the data. Obviously, that's always the first step. This data looked clean. So based on the questions he asked, I needed to create a few formulas here, and then I could build some charts using this Python plugin. Okay, first in the Python example, I need to pull in the data into a data frame and then I can work with it. That brings the data into our Python environment. Now, in this first one, I just selected all the data from our orders tab after I had built those formulas to help simplify things. Then I took the data from the data frame and created an aggregation similar to a pivot table. For this, I used the group by command. And then I just used a simple line plot to see how sales are doing year over year. In this tool, which is called Seaborn, it line plot just means line chart, if you're confused by the terminology at all. Okay, first one in the books with time to spare, but for the second one, I needed to go a different route. Like before, I pulled the data into a data frame. Then I filtered it just down to 2023 because we only want to look at what's going on now. And now here, I built a scatter plot showing the relationship between sales and profit. Then I added color by segment. And finally, I added a basic trend line to show which segment had the best profitability as sales go up. So at this point, I felt things were going well. I had plenty of time to spare. I sent off the results to the VP of sales, grabbed my keys and headed out to the golf course to meet my friends. Just as I was headed out, I got another email from the VP of sales though, and he had one more question, but we had no time left to spare. He wanted to know for the most profitable segment, which are the top 10 products for the past three years, year by year. Given we were on a time crunch, I did what every good data analyst does. I went to ChatGPT and asked it to solve it for me. The process started a bit different on this one because I wanted to see the data before I visualized it. So what I did was I built a pivot table with just the fields I wanted. From there, I pulled the data back into a data frame so I can use it in Python and filtered out the stuff I didn't need. Then I began testing the code that ChatGPT gave me. I kept hitting errors every time I tried to execute the code. I couldn't get past this one error and then I realized what the problem was. Now at this point, I only had 10 minutes left before the VP of sales was up in front of the other executives presenting this findings. So I had to make a decision here and get this done. And that's when I remembered that in Python, there's this function called reset index, which kind of creates flat based columns, more like a table of data than a more complex data structure that's harder to work with. So I added that one bit of code and hit control enter and just crossed my fingers. As I waited, it took an eternity, it felt like for this to render, but in the end it did it. With just a few minutes to spare, I sent the email off to the VP of sales and I hopped in my car and headed out to the golf course. And later that day, I ended up shooting my best round of golf in uh, quite a long time. So not a bad finish to my Friday. So the moral of the story is that Python in Excel is a lifesaver in certain situations. And I ran through some of that code pretty quickly because I didn't want to bore you with it. But if you want to get deeper and kind of learn how this actually works and how to do some of those things, check out the link down below because I created a free mini course that's about 30 to 40 minutes long. And you can dive in and actually rebuild every single chart that I showed you here. And it'll really kind of get your feet wet so you can learn those basic skills and take it and see if it applies to your job. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you back here next time.